Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. A very happy Halloween to you all. It is a rainy, dreary day here in the Lynn of the Brook. Um, I feel really bad for the kids that are wanting to go trick-or-treating tonight because like it rained overnight at one point it sounded like it was raining already and it's just it's just wet and gross out so i hope i hope they they're able to get out and at least get some trick-or-treating in but anyway i hope you guys um have a good day today um on this fantastic halloween day um i don't have any I don't have, oh, just, okay, I know I've been saying this, um, <laughs> I've been saying this for weeks now, but today I'm going to be finalizing the um, information for the P.O. Box, and um, the month of November is going to be a celebration of one year of morning coffee. Um, I believe the first morning coffee video was done on the 9th of November, <clears throat> but this is going to be morning coffee month. Um, and I'm going to have the, I'm going to finalize the post, the PO box today. So look out for a community tab announcement of like the address and all that. Um, and if you would like to make a donation to the channel, in terms or in forms of like a coffee mug for morning coffee or um, a particular deck that you would like to see used. Um, specifically Oracle decks. I am looking a little bit for Oracle decks. I'm okay on Tarot, but if you want to donate, like if you have a, a favorite Tarot deck that you would like to donate to the channel, please, by all means, feel free to send it. Yes? Um, but so keep an, uh, keep a lookout for uh, a post about uh, a P.O. Box address, and I'll also be announcing it later on, like in, in the weekend edition, yeah, of Morning Coffee. Okay, so let's get into the pre-shuffle energies for today. And the theme for today's reading is liberation. Liberation is at hand. I really kind of feel like... I might title the reading this, so you may already you may already know that by now. <laughs> but anyway, um, you have the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, this these these three cards couldn't be any more clear. Couldn't be any more clear about what they mean. Like you really don't really need an intuition, <laughs> or at least a strong intuition to read what this has to say. The Ace of Swords, the Eight of Swords, especially since the, this side of the Eight of Swords is the side in which, oh wow, I just noticed this. Okay, this is so cool. This side of the Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords is where you see that this woman is not nearly as tightly bound as you might think, right? Because look, look at this side. You see, it's, it's like it's almost, it's almost like it's suffocating her. Well, here you go, look. She could, she could shimmy her way right out of that. Okay, and there's an eagle on the top of that card. Look at this Ace of Swords here. Now, this is the Ace of Swords, right, right, right? Okay, Ace of Swords, crown, royalty, um, wisdom, knowledge, um, authority. Okay, look at this side of the Ace of Swords. Look at that eagle right there. Huh, huh that's kind of cool. And then also you have the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles has this dove. So there's definitely a, like a bird um, theme. Here. Birds represent higher wisdom, freedom, purity. Doves are a symbol of, are doves a symbol of a white dove? Isn't that like a, a symbol of God or something like that? I don't know, whatever. Um, but also an eagle specifically represents, it, it can represent feminine energy, but it also represents higher realms of awareness and consciousness, right? So there's definitely an energy of tapping into the higher realms of the universe right now, higher realms of existence, um, higher vibratory rates and whatnot, um, and manifesting from that. And you're doing it because your overall energy is the magician, yeah, with the devil, okay? And the devil is, I'm not going to lie, 
when I saw the devil this time today, I got a stark reminder of how similar this is to the lovers, right? Many of us are breaking free from some sort of confinement when it comes or in terms of um, the, the twin flame journey, we'll call it a, a certain individual um, this really could be a breakup that, I mean it's so crazy it's so crazy that this is coming out like this could be talking about a breakup of a relationship the release of a of a of a divine partner or a, or, or a perceived twin flame um, and like and this is kind of relevant to my life because it's so funny I had I periodically have dreams about my ex-husband and last night was one of them um, we used to flip apartments together and I dreamt last night that I was painting with him again <laughs> and it's it's weird because whenever I have these dreams of him it's never a, well it isn't usually a situation in which I'm like I'm saying to myself why why am I here again why is this happening there was only one time where I had this I had a dream about him and his daughter and I was asking his daughter you know, if it was even okay for me to be around. And she was like, well, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> you know, um, it's weird. So, I mean, obviously that's not, that's not a twin flame situation. That's, that's like my ex-husband, but, um, I was catalyzed out of that relationship through what we're considering or what many of us consider to be a twin flame activation, whatnot, whatever. Um, that really helped push me out of that situation, even though it was a situation I knew I needed to, to, to remove myself from for quite a while. Um, I had been in the process of doing that, and then this activation is what really kicked me into gear and got me out, and I landed here where I am now, and then I ultimately started this channel. Again, things like reading cards was something that I was always interested in too. Like I was studying the cards when I was with him, so by the time I got out, um, you know, I was perfectly set up to start reading for people because I had a really solid foundation under on my belt at that time. Um, and actually that activation really helped uh, open up my intuition. So now I can, I'm pretty good at intuitively reading for people. Um, but all I'm saying all this to say, this doesn't just have to be liberation from like, say, the confines or the, 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 um, the common, ooh, I heard miscon misconception of a, um, you know, a divine partnership or a twin flame situation. It, uh, it could be, you know, a marriage. It could be a, 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 like a just boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend type situation. It could be a career. It could be a family. It could be a job. It, it really could be anything. Okay, but there's definitely liberation and and higher wisdom that is influencing this liberation. Um, knowledge, strength, independence with this nine of pentacles energy. For some of you, it's interesting. This isn't the entrepreneurial card, but I'm also getting that some of you might be wanting to, you know, go in a new direction, start a new business, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. And you're freeing yourself from whatever restraints that would keep you from doing that, you know, which is a really good thing. Okay. With that said, that's your overall energy here. Oh, also, I do want to point out that on this magician card, you do have like the sun is rising. You could look like the sun is setting. I personally feel like the sun is rising. Okay, because, and that's where we have this eight Ace of Swords, which is allowing you to, you know, break free of some sort of chains. Eight of, eight of Wands, I'm sorry, Eight of Swords, yeah? Some sort of mental confines, a uh, mental prison. That really, I want to say is, yeah, and Spirit just said it, it's society, society, geez, oh my God, it's societal based, the Eight of Swords energy. Um, Mainly because it's just, you know, what we, what we're taught throughout society as we grow up, you know, from our parents, from, um, you know, just the general public and all that stuff. And freedom is at hand. Freedom from that 
those um, restrictions, I guess. I guess it's a restrictive energy because basically you're needing, you're, you're having to fall in line or follow a certain trajectory or do things a certain way. And it doesn't always have to be that way, right? Now, I'm stopping here because this damn Knight of Cups keeps coming out, you guys. <laughs> and he's come out with the Four of Cups, okay? So for those of you that are not really interested in talking about love right now, this is probably not a message for you. But the Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups, it's like, well, no, you missed. I mean, there's a missed. There's obviously a missed opportunity here. And someone is really in their end. And the Nine of Pentacles came back out again. So someone really is not in, not too worried about it. OK, some of you really are freeing yourself from some sort of I want to say emotionally manipulative. Maybe I'm hearing even narcissistic energy. Um, complete, liber complete liberation, like liberation is at hand here, guys. All right. So whatever it is you are doing to help free yourself from all of this stuff, just keep on doing it. Keep on 1111. Keep focusing on yourself. Um, keep focusing on your happiness, your well-being, what it is you really want to do in your life. Stay, if you want to stay in hermit mode, if you want to stay in isolation, that nine of pentacles can, can represent isolation. Ugh, the ten of cups just flipped over um, and caught my attention. Um, stay in that nine of pentacles energy if you want to do that. I mean, the nine of pentacles is even indicative of Virgo energy. And the hermit is the Virgo card, right, in the, in the tarot. If you want to stay in that isolation for right now, please, by all means, do that because you're only helping yourself liberate more, okay? By not really associating with the outside world, by not really getting involved, you know, by, by being on your own, being in isolation for some time, you're really helping to cultivate your own energies, you know what I mean? And like, and, and bring yourself into better alignment for yourself okay so this is a time of um being with yourself page of swords the wheel of fortune the ten of swords that's interesting um being this uh, this would definitely be a time of being with yourself um uh in order to acclimate more I'm, I'm having a lot i'm having trouble finding the words right now oh that's right mercury does go into retrograde today mm. oh boy i just thought i might want to do i might want to think about doing a mercury retrograde reading i might do that next week um but this page of swords here this is being on the lookout protecting yourself from anything that would cause any harm or destruction in terms of what it is you're wishing to create here you have the magician on uh, appearing again but this time it's with the wheel of fortune okay and what this is saying to me is that you are working in tandem working hand in hand with the universe to create something like the universe the, the wheel is spinning here you know the, the, the wheel of the universe is spinning here you can't stop that from spinning but you can make sure that you're in alignment with it so that you can bring forward whatever it is you wish to manifest right the worst is in fact behind you ten of swords right and so that's where i feel like this page of swords is coming through this is basically this is spirit saying this is the sentry okay this is the the lookout the spy that's helping to keep tabs on what's going on around you so that you know you're ooh, i heard so that you're not taken advantage of again all right and that absolutely could be why you're in this like hermit mode energy of um just being with yourself right now okay for sure for sure all right let me give this one shuffle here and then We'll see what we've got. Mm. Okay. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Thursday, October 31st, 2019.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're giving this three shuffles. Um, and, ooh, whoa. The color for the collective right now is still orange. I'm still seeing that. When I'm tapping into the collective, orange is still the color. And I'm getting that that is mainly because the emotions, your, our emotions are our focus right now. Or at least they need to be our focus right now. Maintaining your emotional value. What does that mean? Um, making sure that you're doing what you need to do in order to stay happy. Because staying happy is staying in alignment. Yes? Okay, last shuffle here. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Messages for the collective for this moment. Keep in mind, guys, that all of these messages are meant to be timeless. So just because it's coming through for the 31st doesn't mean it has to resonate for the 31st, okay? Okay, we're gonna do one more because I know some, a few cards did, sh did drop out. There's more. My eyes are closed. We're gonna, oh, there's, wow, there's a lot coming out today. All right, oh. <laughs> Look at that. There's that Eight of Swords again. Eight of Swords again. Okay. Overall energy, we have the Nine of Wands and the Five of Swords. All right. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we definitely have two sides of an equation here. We definitely have two sides to an equation here. Um, and these are definitely two opposing energies, uh, but I feel like I didn't even see this one. There's that four of pentacles. Look guys, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm seeing, I'm seeing two individuals here. I'm seeing counterparts again. That's what spirit wants us to talk about. So, or at least that's what, that's, those are the messages that are coming through for, you know, the channel at this time. I'm just, I'm just the messenger, guys. I'm not, uh, and please understand that these readings are not supposed to be, or are not intended to be geared towards anything specific, love, career, whatnot, whatever. I mean, this is just whatever spirit wants to discuss with us. And this is falling right in line with the liberation that we were talking about. So, and even though I don't always like to admit it, um, I do a lot of channeling for counterparts on this channel. Um, so there's that. But we have the side that is under this liberation energy with Justice, Ten of Cups, the Star, and the Knight of Swords fiercely, fiercely defending themselves in terms of moving forward, moving forward towards what it is they want, what it is, is their emotional fulfillment, their happiness, their wish fulfillment, bringing justice into their lives. It really feels like that page of swords that came out has now grown or evolved into a knight of swords, okay? This is a fierce defense, okay? Anyone that steps in the way of justice, of the Ten of Cups, of wish fulfillment, the star, anyone that, um, anybody, any anybody, anything that gets in the way will be removed swiftly. Knight of Swords. And then you have the other side of the equation with the Four of Cups, uh, I'm sorry, Four of Pentacles, the Sun, which is good, um, but then also the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords again, and the Knight of Wands, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Y'all probably already know what this is, but I'm going to go ahead and say it just to be clear. This would be the masculine, this would be the feminine, okay? For the longest time, we've been talking about how the masculine is working on breaking free. Um, and it's funny because we go back and forth. It's like one time, one day we've, we're, we're healing, oh, excuse me. 
<clears throat> one day we're hearing that the masculine is going to be breaking free, is taking steps, is doing whatnot, whatever. And then the next day it's like he's resisting again. I mean, it's, it's, it's a back and forth situation. To be quite honest, though, that makes perfect sense. Take my, 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 my situation, for example, when I was in the, in the process of leaving my ex-husband and really getting, getting into the divorce. I mean, we had been going back and forth for a few years. Uh, I, I, I felt like I needed to leave. He didn't want me to leave. I didn't also, I didn't necessarily want to leave right away, but you know, I didn't see a way of working it out. But of course, we would try and work it out and it would work for a little bit and then it wouldn't work and then I'd be up, uh, I'd be like trying to leave again and then we'd, we'd try to work it out. It would work a little bit and then blah, blah, blah. We, we, we would go back and forth like this. And then it got to the point where I actually did leave once and we started the, we started to, the, to file, do the, we started the divorce proceedings and I ended up going back for reasons that I'm not going to discuss here, but I, ultimately I ended up going back and then two years later we were back in the same position after trying all these different things where it got to the point where I was just like, you know what, finally it was, that was it, done, gotta go, bye. And I moved out for good and I'm here now. All right, so it makes perfect sense that there is this kind of back and forth energy here, all right, of of the masculine wanting to leave but then staying, wanting to leave and then staying, wanting to, to let go of some things and then staying and, and, and not letting go, but whatnot, whatever. Okay, that's fine. It's a natural part of the process, you guys, okay? The, the highlight here, the highlight here is you do have the sun with the, 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 the knight of wands. Now, the thing about the sun, however, is that it's this side where you're still a, a, a confined. You're still behind these walls. What I'm getting here is being still being behind these walls is, wow, this is really interesting. Still being behind these walls here is, is starting to generate some momentum especially with this Knight of Wands energy, okay? Momentum is starting to, 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 to generate, okay, where to the point where it may just, it, it, eventually the momentum is going to be so strong and undeniable that, you know, liberation will be there. You know, you, you, uh, you'd be free. You, could, you would have the, the energy or the momentum to free yourself and remain free, right? What, what I feel like is happening right now for this side of the equation. And keep in mind, this could be the masculine energy within you, okay? So this doesn't have to be an external counterpart, but for the... <laughs> within spirit just said, yes, it is. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, fine. Gosh, I'm just trying to be like diplomatic here, but <laughs> they're laughing at me. Anyway, <laughs> but what's happening here is... Um, as this momentum is being generated or this momentum is being generated because someone is in the process of learning through the contrast, facing the bed that they may have laid in. I just heard reaping what they've sown, um, which is helping them to realize what they need to be letting go of. Four of Pentacles and how they need to be freeing themselves. Eight of Swords. This may not necessarily be all that conscious, but it's, but it is in a way, it, like it's starting to creep into your consciousness, right? The feminine side here has the justice, 10 of cups, the star, and the knight of swords. Now here is the other thing. If we want to talk about it this way, let's look at, let's just talk about the individuals that are more masculinely oriented, right? That are working on <clears throat> integrating their feminine side. Well, as you work on integrating your feminine side, this is what you can look forward towards. Justice, the Ten of Cups, the Star, and the Knight of Swords. Now, it's coming through as the star here because there is still a bit of blind, not blind faith, but there is still a bit of faith that is needed in this journey because even if, and us feminines can attest to this for you, okay, masculine, even once you really do break free, from whatever it is that you've been holding on to, whatever it is you've, you know, the bed that you've made or the, the circumstances you've, you've, you've 
find yourself you found yourself in or the circumstances you've become a part of the the obligations you've uh, you've taken on or the contracts you may have signed the business partnerships you may be a part of the family um, circumstances that you are you know so deeply twistedly uh, or entwined with twistedly wow um, you're still once you break free from that there's still going to be a period where you're going to be moving forward on faith because you're going to be following your intuition you're going to be following the universe okay nothing things aren't just going to happen aren't just going to appear just like that all the time there are going to be some times in which you're going to have to move forward on faith in terms of what it is that you you desire ten of cups okay and even even still this ten of cups kind of feels like it's still kind of off in the distance because it's it's got that dreamy nature but that's also this is the ace of cups here that's that's right there but i still get like a dreamy apparition like feel from that as if it's not completely fully manifested here okay Now it does feel like th those that are still, in, um, you know, are on the more of the feminine side are still kind of dealing with this energy here. But for the most part, I I feel like you've really, you've let go of a lot, and a lot of this for you is just a review process while you're in this like hermit type energy with with the sun here being behind all these walls and whatnot, behind those confines. But you're putting yourself there for a reason, for safety, for protection, whatnot, whatever. Overall energy of the Nine of Wands with the Five of Swords, though. I mean, both sides of the equation are definitely dealing with some sort of sabotage or potential for sabotage, backstabbing, whatnot, whatever, and are needing to persevere. The feminine is definitely feeling that um, in terms of not necessarily really wanting to be all that open with her plans, all that open with much, with much of anything right now to be honest but it all makes it's all making sense so okay okay yeah all right so let's move forward let's move forward and um get some clarification of these energies. I want to start here for you. I do feel like some of you, even whether, regardless of whether you're, you identify more with masculine or feminine energy, I really do feel like some of you, there, there are still a lot of you that might be dealing with this sort of thing. Um, but again, it's a very similar energy. It's, 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 it's still an energy of building some sort of momentum towards further liberation. Okay, it feels like someone has definitely been activated here with this Knight of Wands energy. And that Knight of Wands energy is representing a desire to break free. Okay, so... Oop. Okay, well, yeah, look, the Six of Swords just popped out. With the Nine of Wands again. Yep, with the Nine of Wands. Huh? <laughs> and the Four of Cups. All right, the Six of Swords popped out. But yeah, there is definitely... A need to break free here. And even if you don't resonate with the counterpart situation, you know, divine masculine, divine feminine, you know, twin flame, whatnot, whatever, you still have masculine and feminine energy within you. All right. So there, and I do feel like this is on the masculine side of, you know, your existence here. So the masculine is looking, the masculine part of you is looking to break free, to take action and break free from some sort of, mental constraints, physical constraints, um, obligations, confines, whatnot, whatever. Um, and it's, and, and the feminine side of you here is really like generating the energy, you know, is, is setting the stage, is setting the energetic stage. And then the masculine is following through with action steps in terms of realizing this energetic stage here, this energetic uh, vibration, the energetic alignment. Yes. Okay. Last shuffle. Let's see if we can get... Yeah, that... Yeah, definitely. 
I keep hearing liberation is at hand. So this is a big, this is big. This is, and this is more than just, don't get me wrong. This, I know I'm 30 minutes in and I'm, I'm just now saying this. So I probably lost quite a few people, but this is more than just divine counterpart, masculine and feminine, like divine masculine, divine feminine, twin flamey type stuff. This is the, the counterpart situation within you, the masculine and feminine within you that are dealing with these circumstances and are working on liberating yourselves, okay? So let's get a little more um, clarity on this energy here. Knight of Wands, the Sun, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> oh my goodness, Gray. Goodness, goodness gracious. Look at that. Look at that beautiful Ten of Cups right there with the Hanged Man as an overall energy. All right. Ten of Cups. Yep. The Hermit. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Seven of Swords, King of Cups, Nine of Swords. All right. So yes, yes, this is energy uh, or this is... Um, this is the masculine side, whether this is the masculine within you, whether this is just you as a more masculine dominant energy, um, take it as it resonates, okay? But you have two tens here. You have two tens. You have the 10 of cups and you have the 10 of pentacles. And I really do feel like this is what you're going after, all right? Whereas maybe some of you may have been very physically oriented, money oriented, status career oriented. Now it seems that there is a desire to bring emotion, love, emotional fulfillment into the mix. The hermit. Okay. Uh, I really feel like you have an energy in which someone, especially with this hanged man energy as well. There's someone that is, uh, that is... Oh yeah, look, it's raining. Almost forced within. It's kind of what this feels like. You've almost kind of been forced to go within and figure some shit out and figure out what it is that you want. Now here's the trouble. Here's where we get into trouble because we have the two of swords. We have the seven of swords with the king of cups and the nine of swords. I'm going to put the king of cups with this, with this side up here because it really feels like, um, number one, we're talking to the masculine energies. But number two, we're talking about a situation in which someone is really coming into some serious emotional maturity, okay? But then this is where we have the trouble. Two of swords, seven of swords, nine of swords. Indecision, inability to understand or to really know how to move forward. Um, feeling like, you, feeling backstabbing energy. Um, feeling like you need to, you know, keep quiet about it. Um, there's deception around you. You're afraid. You could be fearful of how people might react around you. Um, you also, they're actually, oh, wow, this is interesting. There may also be a concern here for you because of how secretive you might need to be about this, about this change that is, that you're maybe looking to make or is maybe needing to be made. And that is making it more difficult for you to move forward. It's making things take longer than you would like. For some of you, you actually don't know how to move forward with the Two of Swords, and that is, is, that is generating this Nine of Swords anxi anxious energy, okay? But with that said, whomever is in this energy here is in fact on the right path and that and, and this these three cards down here two of swords seven of swords nine of swords pale in comparison to the energy that you have that's leading the way that's generating this situation for you to begin with ten of cups ten of pentacles the hermit the king of cups with the hanged man this is really all about right now whomever is in this energy right now is really it's really all about a change in perspective generating cultivating that change in perspective okay so yeah this overall energy up here of the nine of wands and the five of swords is definitely applicable okay you really do have to i'm hearing trust your intuition 
especially with this King of Cups energy, because the King of Cups is, you know, is emotionally available, emotionally aware, intuitively aware also. Just, it is mas masculine energy, okay? But you can be masculine and intuitive. That's not something that's exclusive to feminine energy, okay? But you do have feminine energy within you. But as a masculine entity, you're, you know, you're gonna express your, or experience your intuition slightly differently than like maybe a, a feminine energy, but follow your intuition, okay? Listen to your heart, listen to your gut and persevere, all right? This is, this, that's a really good, that's a really good thing. I know, I know it's troubling. I know it's troubling, but it's good. It's very good, okay? So now I want to look at this side of the equation. Justice, Ten of Cups, the Star, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, overall energy of... Yep, there it is, the Page of Pentacles. Brand new start, new level, okay? New level of commitment. New. Uh, you might be wanting to learn some things. You might be in an apprenticeship phase, but I often say, I've been saying this for a long time, this Page of Pentacles represents, in my opinion, that level up, okay? Reaching that new level and learning how to survive and thrive in that new level. Um, this also could, This I'm also getting with this Page of Pentacles, there is a new level of commitment to the self, towards your goals, towards what it is you truly want. It's all part of this liberation energy. Wow, okay, you have strength, you have the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is, yes, it can talk about society and whatnot and religion and all that stuff, but it also does talk about teaching and learning. And I was picking up here with this page of pentacles that you might be trying to learn some new things um, other than just how to, how to exist in this new energetic state potentially, yeah. You have the Three of Cups, you have the Magician, the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the High Priestess. You have the High Priestess and the Hierophant. This is masculine and feminine energy. This is a balance here. You have Justice and you have the Eight of Swords. Wow. Holy moly. This is great energy right here. Lots of butterfly symbolism. Look at this. Between the Eight of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles, Liberation really is at hand here, you guys. Okay? And even if you find yourself stuck in this energy up here that we were talking about, this, this side is what you're moving towards, okay? There are, le there are like degrees to this. Whereas this individual or these people here that are in this energy right here, up here, this first set that we were talking about, you're in the process of coming to terms emotionally, emotionally, I know you can't really see it, it's off camera, but emotionally maturing here with the, with, between the hermit energy and the king of cups energy in terms of what it is you ultimately want. What will be your ultimate physical and emotional fulfillment? 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, okay? Here, for those of us that are a little more, a little further along in the journey, first of all, you have the balance between masculine and feminine energy, the Hierophant and the High Priestess, okay? Um, this is like the ultimate balance. These are the ultimate teachers here, High Priestess and the Hierophant, all right? So these are major, massive, universal lessons, both physical and energetic, okay? And then, and so if you're, if you're finding yourself in this position here, it's basically, you, it, it's, it's almost as if you, not almost, it pretty much is, as if, you have, you're really mastering, I'm hearing mastering the laws of, tr of attraction, mastering the laws of the universe here between the high priestess, the hierophant, strength, the magician, ugh, God, I'm sorry guys, and justice, okay? You're having, you, you have the lessons of the high priestess and the hierophant, enough of the lessons firmly under your belt where now you have the strength to walk on your walk your walk your own path, be your own master manifester, and bring justice into your life, and not just your life, the lives of many. I'm hearing by leading the way, by leading by example. Three of Cups is celebration, is a union card, body, mind, and spirit. You have the Eight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. Eight of Swords again. That's the card we've been we started with, right? One of the cards that we started with. Eight of Swords and the magician and the magician. Yes, and the, <clears throat> and the magician. 
Um, Two of Pentacles is balance. I'm hearing it's harmony. It's also infinity here. It's um, uh, acknowledgement of the, you know, infinity symbol or the, uh, the abundance, you know, the infinite abundance of the universe. Finding your balance there in terms of the physical realm, right? Which helps you, which helps liberate you for sure. For sure. Six of Wands, Eight of Swords. Completely, totally helps liberate you. And it is, it is through the balance of this masculine and feminine energy, the lessons of the High Priestess and the Hierophant here. Okay, these higher, this higher wisdom that has helped you connect with this abundance and helped change your outlook on how abundant the universe is and how there's an abundance of resources. So with all this said, now that I'm like towards the end of the reading here and I've probably lost quite a few of you, <laughs> um, and even if I have lost you, then you probably wouldn't even be listening to this part of the reading right now. But we definitely have, we can look at this as waves of individuals. We don't have to really, let's, let's not look at it as, from a masculine, feminine point of view. Let's look at it as just a wave of enlightenment, a wave of waking up. You have one wave that's here, that's identifying what it is they truly want. And what it, is, what it is would be truly fulfilling for you, for them. And then we have this other wave here that has reached this next level and is now really manifesting from this higher awareness point of view. Okay. All right. So let's, let's close this out. Let's get Spirit's take on this. Any sort of advice Spirit may have for us. And then we're going to get our Oracle Guidance. All right. Here we go. Spirits take on this message, please. Ooh. Oh. That was interesting. All right. Overall, okay, well, there's the Hierophant. <laughs> Teaching and learning. It is almost like a review, I feel like. The Hierophant energy here is ask is like is a review. Five of Cups, Three of Cups, Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, Four of Wands. Page of Cups, Ace of Swords, Three of Cups, Ten of Wands, Five of Cups, Four of Wands, the Hierophant. I really, what the Hierophant, I feel like the Hierophant is saying, what have you learned here? In terms of the burdens that you've carried in the past, the, the loss that you perceived, the things that you've perceived to have lost, even though there are two, there's still, all is not lost here, right? Oh, Three of Cups. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ten of Wands, Three of Cups, Five of Cups. I'm seeing a progression here. I'm seeing the burdens that one was carrying socially bound in some way, but that's spilling out. And you're left with Two Cups. Again, Liberation. Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Page of Cups here. Again, that Ace of Swords is that liberating energy, okay? It could be seen as what cut away those three cups that have spilled over and are no longer accessible to you, right? But it feels very clear that you no longer want access to this, to this because it was burdensome, probably even toxic, right? Page of Cups, you're now free to dream. Four of Wands, emotional stability, spiritual stability, I'm hearing even financial stability for some of you, but that is connected to the abundance here of this two of pentacles that was represented here. Financial abundance, physical abundance, whatnot, whatever. It's there for you. It's literally, I'm literally seeing this, uh, this progression from starting with the 10 of wands, 
the realization of some sort of burdens, right? Three of Cups, understanding where those burdens come from. Five of Cups, losing those three cups to be left with two cups, yes? Ace of Swords, wisdom, understanding. Ooh, even healing. Four of Wands, having coming to the realization of having that solid foundation, spiritually, energetically, maybe even emotionally, to the Page of Cups, now being able to dream fully. And see what's really on the horizon for you. That's what I just heard. Excellent. So now we're going to get our, our Oracle Guidance. And today we're going to be using the Crystal Mandala deck. Excuse me. All right. Oracle guidance, please, spirit. Card number 23, Ascended Master Jesus and Rosophia, Meaningful Sacrifice. And this 23, 2 and 3 boils down to a 5. All right, so this is change. Meaningful Sacrifice. Wow. Okay, we bring you the blessing of Meaningful Sacrifice. To manifest your divine destiny, there are times when, quote, want must give way to, greater, to a greater need. It may feel as though you are being denied the very thing that you yearn for the most. However, when meaningful sacrifice is being asked of you, there is a far more generous and loving reality at play. What is being denied now will ultimately create the opportunity for far greater gain. This doesn't necessarily resolve the pain of unfulfilled desire in this moment, but it does soothe your soul with the understanding that if you feel denied, it is only so that your fulfillment can come about in a more extraordinary and generous expression in due course. Yes, that makes a lot of sense, especially for those of us that are in this energy here. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Hermit, the King of Cups, right? Coming into that emotional maturity with um, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Sun, the Knight of Wands. Underneath that, you remember all this, right? There are definitely some things that have to be sacrificed in order for you to get to this. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. And that's what you're learning here. The hermit with the king of cups coming into that emotional maturity to say, okay, well, what do I really need to do to bring this into my life? It's not an easy thing. It's definitely not an easy thing. Okay. But you got this. I'm going to read this. A meaningful sacrifice is being asked of you. It is the foregoing of a situation that you want so that another more appropriate situation, one that your soul truly needs, can come into being. This meaningful sacrifice is actually a divine blessing, although it may not feel that way initially. It is a withholding from you of that which, you, which would seduce you away from the truth of your path. The world can be a most intriguing and fascinating place. Being open and curious about life can help you feel energized and inspired. Yet if your body or mind becomes enchanted by that which is not truly meant for you, this leads you away from the path upon which you will actually find real joy, fulfillment, and happiness. Such distractions, as alluring or perfect as they may seem, cannot provide the deep satisfaction for which you yearn. It may even end up causing you an unanticipated and otherwise unnecessary pain, which you shall then need to resolve. When the blessing of meaningful sacrifice is bestowed upon you, you are being protected. The protection may seem like a no from the universe, which brings frustration, perhaps also a deep despair or disappointment to your heart. 
We acknowledge the suffering you may experience with tender compassion. However, there is something more for you, more suitable, more loving, more grand, more healing, more tender, more gracious, more beautiful. The universe will not conspire with your ego to offer you less than your complete divine destiny, no matter how much you may insist that you know what or who will make you happy and how that happiness can, can best be delivered to you. You are loved far more than that. You are loved enough that the universe will ensure the sanctity, safety, and success of your soul. You will be guided faithfully, held back when a, dead, when a dead end, obstacle, or worse could cause you to sway from your true path, and encouraged to keep moving forward, foregoing scraps, in order to remain hungry for the great feast awaiting for you. It is not always an easy path, even if you are a very disciplined person, but understand that for this moment of sacrifice, where something difficult is being asked of you, there shall be so much rich reward. There shall, there shall be so much rich reward. It is the delivery of the reward which the universe is so keen to bring to you. And so whatever is needed for you to take that place shall be evoked in your life. I'm going to stop there. There you have it, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone has a very, very happy Halloween. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.